Hey guys, I'm Christy. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this channel is usually about food and shopping and preparing that food, but I'm trying to grow the channel, so I am going to post a couple more videos about pharmacy. I am a P1 pharmacy student. I'm also still a pharmacy technician. I will apply for my intern license in December, and then I should get it in January, and then I can go to a uh, pharmacy intern but still technician at the moment. I do work um, one day a week in the pharmacy to pay my bills, <laughs> but um, I am in week 10, uh, the first year, duh, P1, but um, the school that I go to has classes in like eight weeks and then also in 16 weeks. So I just finished two of my classes up and then replaced them with two other classes. So the two that I finished was Applied Biochemistry and oh, I never can remember the name of the, I always call it Medicare Medicaid class, but that's not what it was. Pharmacy and Healthcare Delivery. So I just finished those two classes and they're being replaced with Pathology and Laws, Eth Laws and Ethics. So, and then we have our regular classes. I have three, um, like lab classes. One of them is pharmacy calculations, which is like math. It's like pharmacy math and it includes all the pharmacy math. So not just retail, cause I do work in a retail setting. So there's retail pharmacy, there is hospital pharmacy, um, and there's also compounding. So all that math is in there. So we're learning all of that. And then on, we have a day of the week, which is like a recap of what we did in lab. If you have any questions, what went wrong, where to improve, that good stuff. And then what else do we have? We have um, Introduction to Pharmacy Practice and Communications. And then we also have Professional Development. So I really enjoy those classes. Communications is not too bad. It's just learning and <laughs> learning how to talk. It's learning how to communicate effectively and professionally. So even though I like to talk, a lot. It helps me or it's teaching me how to um, interact with patients in a timely manner to get all the information across that I need to get. So I'm learning how to do all of that good stuff. But if I had any wisdom to part on people who are going to pharmacy school, like hoping to go to pharmacy school next year, I would definitely take intro to biochemistry it was one of the hardest classes if i'm being totally honest it was super hard for me <laughs> i had to study a lot it's one of the hardest classes that i think i've taken in my life um i don't know if it was just because it was a lot of information to get down and make sure that you had certain steps down memorization is not a huge thing except for like the amino acids and maybe um, the steps that everything goes in and all the enzymes that go with that. Once you get the enzymes down, it's a little bit easier. And that took me a little bit because I don't know if it was because I was just so stressed that it wasn't clicking in my head. But now when you look at it, you're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. But I passed that class. It's done. It's over. You're going to take what you learn and you got to move it on because everything builds off of the classes that you take, well they do in my pharmacy school, and it gets you ready to take your NAPLEX, and then you also have to take a law test after you finish your, my school is a four year program. So that's what I'm going to, and if you have any questions, oh, I wanted to show you. <laughs> so um, I actually bought the book for biochemistry. Um, my school does offer digital uh, copies that you can look and you can download chapters and all that stuff. I'm actually doing that with the pathology book because um, I'm going to try digital way, but I still print out the lectures because I'm old school. Look, these are my lectures. This is an eight week class. That's a three inch binder and that's my notes. And then I have stuff printed out here and it also missing a couple of lectures, like a couple of the last lectures. Um, but that's how I study. <laughs> I also make flashcards. I have my bag here. I also make flashcards, um, and I like to put them on a ring. Um, this, this particular set of flashcards is my top 200 drugs. Way back when in high school, I had an awesome teacher. 
um, he was one of the math instructors and his name was Mr. Dibberner and he did like showed us how to take notes and like a system that he used for the rings. So that's still helping me many, many years after I graduated high school and that's how I study. So I like to do, I have um, my computer that I take notes on and then I do printout lectures and then I do note cards. Everybody learns differently and that is one thing that they kept telling us is like you have to read, you have to learn how to learn. You have to learn how your brain interprets things to get to get it uh, down before an exam because in pharmacy school it does move fast. So that's what is going on with me. If you want more videos on pharmacy school, I'm going to try and do day in the life. I try to film them so often, but then I get to class and I totally forget. So <laughs> I'm going to try and do better guys. Uh, also, if you have any questions on retail pharmacy as a pharmacy technician, I can let you know all that stuff. I've been a technician since 2013, so a long, long time. And I worked through COVID. I got immunization certified, so I do give vaccines as well. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will answer them. You guys have a good day.